the magpie filler was it was um, captured by some recreational fishers in the Port River on sa last Saturday, and they called us by phone and let us know that they had it in their landing net and it was in really good, healthy condition. So we quickly raced down there and brought it back here to Saudi Aquatic Sciences and then um, put it straight into a tank and we've been maintaining it there ever since. Yeah, we have strong communication networks with with um, fishery, fishers in all the sectors, so the, the different fisheries, so commercial, recreational, charter, and um, game fishing fraternity. So it's through those relationships that we build up through uh, involving them in research and, and they let us know when they have a, a discovery they think will have the scientific value. We, um, over, over the years, we've actually built up a quite a strong relationship here in South Australia and nationally. So this species was described in 1954 based on one animal. Okay, so one specimen was taken down near Kangaroo Island. So holotype means that the animal was actually, the species, sorry, was described on the basis of one individual. Okay, so it was off Kangaroo Island. And the interesting thing about it was that when they found it, they weren't sure, well, now scientists are still not sure if it's actually the southern fiddler ray as a different colour morph. So, the important thing about this discovery is that now, because we've actually got a confirmed animal that we think is actually a magpie filler, we can then do the genetics so we can sample this animal and compare it to known samples of the southern fiddler ray, and we'll be able to use it to differentiate you know, genetically between the two species. Okay. The animal was found in the Port River, so you know that's it's amazing to think that a um, endangered species, possibly a critically endangered species, would be right here in Adelaide.